Hello and welcome to another update video about Ada Cardano. In this video, I would like to show you both the bearish and the bullish options that we have on the radar here. Um, to be honest, um, all of my scenarios are currently bullish for Ada, as long as the Ada price is holding 27.6 cents. However, there is of course a short term bearish option where we will make another low in the current correction and one scenario where we already bottomed. There is a scenario that we already bottomed because, well, I made you aware, I think last week already that we could have already bottomed with that latest low here um, because we hit the trend reversal area and we reached an important Fibonacci extension here at 35 cents. Since then, we have been doing quite well or ADA has been doing quite well, um, but price action isn't clearly impulsive. So that's why we still have that bearish option on the chart, which is currently still preferred as long as we stay below 39.7 cents a break above 39.7 cents would lead to a breakout above this small wave too high and then um yeah invalidate any further downside in this particular wave structure so looking at the bigger picture that's unchanged um the idea is that this here is a leading diagonal which rallied off the 10th of march low to the 15th of april high then an abc structure down and um yeah i mean if it's an abc we should get one more low it could be a WXY, that's always an option, unfortunately, and we could have the low already in. Or alternatively, if I count the move here in the middle as an Elliott wave triangle, which is perfectly fine as well, I put the B wave here, and then the entire move down is just a five wave move, and I have my A, B, C. Yeah, I think that's how I measured also that Fibonacci extension at the time. So just be, just, you know, they're both possible, unfortunately, and, the, you know, if you if you trade this, you, 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 your tactics your strategy needs to reflect that, the idea that we could have already bottomed, okay? Because what you cannot predict, you can manage with tactics. Okay, so at present, as long as we hold below 39.7 cents, one more low is preferred. And we could be looking at this C wave here. Um, we could be looking at that as an expanding diagonal or so, because the wave four is starting to get very long. Um, and it's starting to get too, too deep to be reliable, but it's not clearly bullish either. So we leave the count at the moment as it is, and we just need to know that in this yellow box, price can turn around. And as long as we're holding 33.3 cents, we can focus on higher in a third wave rally. What happens if we break below 33.3 cents? Well, then we would look at the entire price action to the upside as a B wave and the move down as a larger C wave, uh, which makes sense as well. But then we just finish that wave two a little lower. So really the support area against which we need to measure bullish and bearish and to identify where the pivot point is, well, that's the 27.6 cent level because there are two bullish options. One wave count allows basically a drop to 33.3 cents. The other bullish option to 27.6. Below 27.6 though, yeah, we need to look for new bear market lows. So looking at the detail, in this particular advance here, uh, also here, there are different options to count, but I'm watching here for this, that this was an A wave to the upside. This here is a B wave to the downside, which bottomed on Wednesday, and we're now coming up in a C wave. That C wave has nearly five waves complete. So we're getting to a decision point here. Yeah? And if we take the Fibonacci extension tool and measure the target for the C wave, Normally we're watching for the 61.8 extension as a very first target that has been reached. Seems like we're gonna get a short C wave. Next target would be the 78.6 extension and the 100% extension at 38.3 and 38.9 cents respectively. Yeah, This is the bearish count um, and you can see it's clearly a three wave move. With the C wave, it could do with it going a little bit higher but should avoid to go above 39.7 cents. Now, there is unfortunately also a bullish count for that, which is not reliable until proven, okay? It needs to prove itself. Um, I have sketched that on another chart. So this is basically the Thursday of the 11th of May low. And as you can see here, I can count the wave one as a leading diagonal. Um, diving into the detail here, really. Um, just wanted to give you an idea and also educate a little bit. So what I counted as a wave on the other chart, you can count that as a wave one as well, but it would need to be a leading diagonal. Then we count here wave two to the downside, which is our B wave on the other chart. And if we hold that swing low, that wave two low, which is basically here at 36.5 cents, 
then we could be focusing from a bullish point of view on a third wave rally. Um, as you can see in this third wave, yeah, this would also consist of five waves. And the five waves I have put here on the chart are most likely going to be the first wave of the third wave because they are too short. As you can see here, it looks like we have a wave one done, a wave two done, a wave three done. We could be in the wave four and then we should get one more high. We will get one more high as long as we're holding. One second, I need to adjust the support areas here for, for a wave four. As long as we're holding 37.3 cents, a break below 37.3 would favor a direct breakdown. Yeah? So we can get one more tiny swing high as long as we're holding 33.3. So 37.3, and then we have another five wave move up complete. But as you can see, then we only have again, just three waves done. So this is the decision point where we will then um, probably retrace a bit deeper. And if we break below that, what I have labeled here as wave two low, 36 and a half cents, yeah, then we are most likely gonna get another low. So hopefully that's clear. We're really diving into the detail here. Many people don't need to understand it in that much detail. But the point is we can get one, if we hold 37.3 cents now, we should get one more high in this five wave move. Then we should see a deeper retracement and that will be the decision point. Because if we then break down, we only had three waves up. And then the primary expectation, which is still this one, yeah, would be correct and would lead to one more low. So it's going to be very, very interesting. Um, okay, that's my update about ADA. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.